Hey what is going on guys and welcome to a new Iron Man episode and I'm actually going to start this one off by completing the Edgar's Roost quest. It was quite annoying. Oh 11,000 herb lore. I did not expect that. That's awesome. That's actually kind of worth it now uh, because I had to run like back and forth a billion cabillion times uh, to the, the Trollheim place. But the good thing is I can now actually teleport to that place which makes it so easy for me if I want to do next in the future, if I want to do more God Wars, you know the normal God Wars. I don't have to run the anymore with my rock climbing boots which was the case before that but now I don't have to do that so that's awesome and 11,000 herb lore experience is obviously pretty good also now I have every single requirement for the dream mentor quest I do believe I, pro I probably can't find it I'm not going to oh there you go that's easy so yeah I, I have lunar diplomacy completed and Edgar's ruse so this is the next qu next quest on the list so let's get into that dream mentor is very easy of a quest I think it was quite fun to do honestly let's see what the reward is I actually don't really check up the rewards for these small quests before I do them but it's going to be interesting to see if I get anything that's actually useful hopefully this animation won't take like 10 years but I also get to tr I got to try out the lunar spellbook I actually never had it um, I don't really see if there's much use for it honestly like vengeance is the best thing I guess um okay so let's see 15k constitution that's worth less 10k magic and then experience lamp which I'm not sure if it's only like combat maybe it is because I only got combat experience otherwise all right let's see what do I want all right I, I understand you talk dude can, can we get on with it Get on with it, please. Oh yeah, it's it's only combat. All right, I don't know what the what the hell to put this on. I'll just do range. Screw it. It's probably a worse choice than constitution, but I'll just do it. But anyways, that is the dream mentor quest completed. Honestly, I'm not sure like what I'm going to do now because I you know had that as a goal to complete the dream mentor quest, and the ones that I did before that was you know another goal of that. So we now need the hand in the sand, and then we need the path of uh, Gloperine or whatever. And then we need recipe of the of a disaster. And then obviously we just need 270 quest points overall. So I guess we're getting there. But this is not going to be enough to get to 270 quest points. So we're going to have to do some other quests as well. You know, I do realize that questing is probably not the most fun thing for you guys to watch. Maybe, you know, it's good to see that I'm making progress and maybe you can appreciate that. Uh, but overall, just showing you guys this shit when I, you know, get the reward for this is for Hand in the Sand, which is a super, super short quest, uh, which was one of the requirements for the overall, you know, Wild Gothic Sleeps. Uh, I, I'm, I just completed it, right? Uh, and it's not very fun for you guys to watch this and it's not very fun for me to do quests. I kind of hate it, even though this one wasn't that bad. So I'm, I think I'm going to do like three quests maybe two quests depending on how big they are I'm just going to do a bit you know questing in each episode and then the rest of it I'm just going to do more entertaining stuff like slayer bossing you know working on some other stuff so it's going to be a bit more you know stuff happening in the video but I still want to work towards tears of um, no uh while Guthic sleeps and you know the end reward is going to be amazing for that and I think you know when I do complete that I will be able to do so much more fun stuff so I think it's a good thing and I hope you guys are enjoying my videos even though sometimes it's a bit of questing and I have to talk a bit about you know my plans and stuff like that but now we have the hand in the sand quest completed and overall the requirements for the quest like overall left is not that big I know I just showed it but like I just completed the hand in the sand which was one of the requirements but we only need the path of Gloperine and then a uh, recipe for a disaster which is granted huge and it's going to give me a lot of quest points but other than that it's really only you know this quest which I don't think is that hard but for now I'm going to be done with questing for this episode so let's get into some awesome stuff now time to receive my 10k oyster reward let's see what we get oh 18k that's pretty close to 10k but at least we get some farming experience and some fishing experience which I don't say no to I actually felt like doing some Twin Furies, I don't have a Reaper assignment or anything, but I kind of need Twin Furies anyways, like overall it's just good. Uh, but I got a Samurakian Essence and it's actually pretty cool, if you do get uh, a bunch of them then it's going to be very good actually. Uh, what you do use them for is you need one of each of the factions, so you need one Seren, one Sliski, one Sauros and then one Samurak to make one piece of armor that is tier 80, the, you know, the anima core item, for example my tier 80 uh, ranged body that I've got some from Twin Fury so far, you can make that to tier 85, but then it degrades, and when it's completely degraded to zero, then it's going to go back to the tier 80 version, so for a bit of time, it's going to be better than, you know, the tier 81, but uh, it's not amazing of a drop, if I'm going to be honest with you, but it's not that rare, so it's decent. Oh my god, I get a weapon, but the bad part is, I really don't need this weapon, so I can't find it, where the hell is it, there we go. 
That is the second one, unfortunately. I kind of needed the uh, Nimora one. That would have been awesome, but now I have two of these. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. Maybe I'll augment this one in the future. It would, you know, be a pretty good one to augment and then destroy it. But it, it's kind of sad that I might have to do that. I would love the Nimora one, but it, it's a drop anyway, so I'll, I'll be happy for now. Oh my god, this has been such a good trip, and dude, I feel so bad for Underfledge. I think he hasn't really got any quests really ever, and I think he has over 800 kill count. He does at least have a pet, yeah, look at that, 823, and he helps me so much with the uh, Twin Fiori, so... Huge shout out to Underfledge, and I, I just gotta show you a character as well, dude. Like, you have a Barrow's Sight, that might be me in the future with my Barrow's Die, but... I'm going to actually make the tier 80 range legs with that quest, so that is absolutely amazing. Just to show off, I do already have the Blade of Avaris. The reason why they don't stack actually is because one of them is broken a bit. It's like 99% charge. I just tried it out once. Uh, so they don't currently stack. But anyways, let's make the legs now. I do have the tier 80 ranged body if you didn't know that. So let's make the legs now. Let's attach crest and let's choose the Samurai one. And combine the crest and let's make those legs. That is some sexy ass legs, dude. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to equip them because I don't have overrides right now. And we're going to have a look at... How this looks it's going to be very awesome I think I think the body actually has some really cool design to it like a dragon thing here I guess it's the wings of the twin fiores or something that's equipped the legs now I think it looks really cool actually that with my royal crossbow fits very very nicely as I just got the tier 80 range legs I thought why not just complete my reaper assignment because I had Kree aura and I still have like five left six left to kill but I did get a hard clue scroll from it so let's open that one first let's see what we get that's a lot of alkybolts, but it's not very good. The next one we can reroll though, so that's going to be sick. So I'm doing some Slayer now to get some money, and doing clue scrolls is always fun as well. So I got a room play body T and an enchanted hat in the same clue. But I already have both of these. I'm actually going to reroll it. It looks like a, a really good clue scroll, but as I have both of them, it makes no sense to keep it. So let's confirm. And we get the worst hard clue scroll ever oh my god but it, it's still worth the reroll because you know i could have got something good so that's that's how i see it even though it says 800,000, this really isn't very good. Honestly though, I don't have that many puzzle skipping tickets in the bank, so even though I don't really ever use them anymore, I used to use them before I got the alt one add-on, uh, but now I don't. So they're kind of useless because the puzzles now are so easy, but let's see how many I have. I think I have like two or something. So yeah, I had one and now I have three in the bank, but I have a lot of not skipping tickets, so yeah, they're not that interesting, but I guess the room play legs are some decent alt. So this is actually going to be the end of this video. If you're thinking this is a very short video, that is because it is. But it's a lot of progress that I've been working really hard on. And I have actually been doing quite a lot of Twin Furies even though it doesn't look like it. Because that was just a really lucky trip. And before that I didn't really get anything in the previous trips that I did. So I only show you guys the highlights obviously and that's the fun part of, you know, watching these videos. But now I'm actually going to do a really big goal. I think it's going to be super beneficial for my account. I'm going to do about, I think it's going to be 25 to 30 hours of fishing. And that is going to be uh, 85 fishing through only fishing sharks. Which is going to give me so much food to be able to do Slayer with. That is unreal. And then after that at 85 uh, fishing, I'm going to start fishing K-fish. And I should have done this a long time ago, but I haven't. So I'm going to do it now. Um, and that is why I won't have any progress to show you guys more in this video, unfortunately. But I don't want to postpone the video three days just to show you guys that I've been doing fishing in one clip. So I'm going to do uh, 85 fishing through sharks. Going to cook all of that. And then I'm going to uh, fish K-fish. A good amount of them hopefully. And then cook them as well. So I will have a lot of food for Araxor or Telos when I do get to that point. And it's going to be very good. So this is going to be the end of this video. And the next video will start off with me being done with all that fishing. It's going to look very good I bet. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Also there's going to be some cool information in the description. On the top of the description. As well as I will just make a comment about it in the comment section. For those of you guys who don't watch the description just to let everyone know i don't want i was initially going to talk about like a new idea and thing for three minutes or f four minutes i can't remember how long i recorded for but i just decided to i'm just going to post it in the description and let you guys know if you're interested you can read that anyways this is go this is going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy it and we had some awesome luck at twin furies today at least and i'll see you in the next one guys